I've been lied to, I've been cheated on, I've been abused, I've been all of those things. No matter what you're going through, I have been there, and everybody's pain is not the same, but we all have pain in our life, whether we want to admit it or not. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. Pray over myself. As well, I pray over others. But you don't want to just leave it to somebody else praying over you, because only you really know your struggles. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing today? Um, it's a struggle out here trying to find somewhere to walk. So they put our state on, um, oh, and welcome to Tommy Bites TV. But they put our state on, you know, I guess to stay at home. But they say you can go out and you can exercise or whatever. Um, However, I usually park at a park and then I walk the street near the park because there'd be too many people at the park. Well, they don't block that off. So I'm up here at the shopping center where the Ross and the Burks and all of that stuff is um, so that I can go and walk somewhere else. So y'all, I just wanted to check in. Today is day one of my seven day fasting 16-8. So from uh, 8 last night until 12, I'm fasting p.m. And then from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., that's my eating window. My calories will be 1025 to 1175 that I cannot go over. So I'm going to drastically change how I'm eating along with my workouts. I am losing weight, however, um, even though I'm not because this is even going down. But y'all, I'm excited about it. I feel good about it. I see results already just from what I'm doing and that's and I'm still eating. So I'm looking forward to, you know, eating a little better with this and seeing that weight loss. And my goal is to get there by October. I'm not in, you know, a sprint with it. I'm in it for the long haul. So let me get to my walk. And I will see y'all when I see y'all. Peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy Spice. No, I'll be back. So I forgot to say what my weight is. Um, I, when I started, I was 203. And right now I'm at 194 as of April today. April 8th, I am 194 pounds. And it kind of fluctuates between a pound or two, but that's what I am right now. And so I'll weigh myself in a couple more days and then I'll do an update then. Bye. <laughs> Y'all. Don't worry, I have my mask um, just in case I see myself about to pass somebody's path or whatever. I can just quickly pull that up. Whew. So y'all, it's a pretty day. If you can get out safely, please get your exercise on, get your vitamin D. Um, it makes your body feel so much better because you can get depressed just sitting in the house not getting any sunlight even if it's just sitting on your front porch y'all sit on why I look like Minnie Mouse I don't know why that's puffed up like that but anyway um, even if it's just sitting on your front porch um, but it's critical <laughs> for me that I exercise and that I get my health together because I have that underlying condition. I have lupus, um, arthritis, fibromyalgia, all of that stuff, high blood pressure. I'm trying to get all of that in check. So I don't need that medication for blood pressure or whatever. Um, 
and I hate that it's taken me so long to actually put my foot down on myself. And y'all, this is the N95 mask that I got. See? That I had told y'all I had um, got from this place that was selling them last year. You know, because me and my husband usually watch a lot of those prepping shows or we always kind of felt like anything could happen. When I saw these and they were on sale, I said, hey, let's get them. And I got as many as I could afford. If I could afford more, I would have got more. But, um, yeah, y'all, y'all be safe, stay healthy and enjoy the best life that you can enjoy at this moment right here um most of our states are you know on the stay at home minus being able to go out and exercise until they say you can't go out and exercise then i just exercise at home when they do but i do the jump rope um every day i'm trying to increase it i'm up to doing a hundred jump ropes at a time when I started a week ago doing the jump ropes y'all I could barely get 30 done I was out of breath so I think I'm doing pretty good it's, it's getting there y'all everything's a process nothing happens overnight because this is for one this weight didn't come on overnight sorry for all the noise but I'm forced to walk out here because the parks are closed um which I don't walk at the park anyway because it'd be too many people clustered together. This way, you're not really passing anybody. You know, you don't have that worry. But I have this just in case um, somebody else is out here exercising too or something. So, I'll be back. Whew. Okay, I'm done, y'all, with my walk. I've walked for an hour. I probably burned about 581 calories or so, somewhere up in there to 600. I climbed steep hills and I walked flat lines. But I was listening. This was my walk with 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 God as I'm fasting. I encourage you to. Speak over yourself. No matter what's going on around us, no matter what the numbers look like on, on the news, no matter what they're telling you, yes, these things are happening. But if you believe in God and you trust in God and you call on Him and put Him first, because I promise you, I promise you, Lord Jesus, I promise you he will not forsake you he will not leave you there's nothing that's happening today that has not happened years and years ago that is not in the Bible it may come with a new name but it's not a new so trust in the Lord I'm not here to preach to you I'm just here to give you my testimony and my walk is my walk with God but it's also my walk to get healthy as I'm listening to uh, Pandora and Tamla Man Radio and all those great songs that's playing and encouraging and uplifting and speak over yourself speak over yourself when when things around you seem like they're down when you, you feel like you don't have a way out whether you're working or and having to go out into the environment and whether you're not working and wondering how your bills are going to get paid speak a word of encouragement over yourself call on God call on God put him first because I promise you he has put you first he has put us first so many times and so many times we as human beings have let him down, me included. 
And all you can do is ask for forgiveness and ask for him to strengthen you on your walk and your journey because everybody's walk and everybody's journey is different. I promise you that. It's different. What's good for Amy ain't good for uh, Cindy. It's not. Because we all walk different paths. So whatever you're in need of, call on him. Whatever's bothering you, call on him. Find a quiet place. Find a quiet place and call on him. You could be driving in your car. Just call on him. Just talk to him. Just talk to him regular. If you don't know how to pray, talk to him regular. It's nothing that he hasn't heard, and it's nothing that he's going to block you from. He don't have a block on no caller ID like that. If you are God's child, even if you are not, and in these troubling times, you need somebody to talk to. And you may not always hear an answer right then, but if you, I promise you, if you sit, and I keep saying I promise you, and I don't make promises. My family know I don't make no promises. But I have been through a lot of things in my life. I've been lied to. I've been cheated on. I've been abused. I've been all of those things. And until I call on him and that I listen for the quiet moments and for the small things that he might send your way that you don't even realize, whether you're thinking about doing something to harm yourself and you just all of a sudden get a message from somebody saying, hey, girl, what's up? No matter what you're going through, I have been there, and everybody's pain is not the same, but we all have pain in our life, whether we want to admit it or not. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. But I do know this. I do know that I pray over myself. As well, I pray over others. But you don't want to just leave it to somebody else praying over you because only you really know your struggles. So I, I, I implore you to call on the Lord or whoever you believe in, Allah, whoever you believe in, call on them. So I feel like I'm preaching, but I just felt moved to say that. I had a wonderful walk, y'all. Um, like I said, I walked for an hour a little over I'm sweating in this little um, thing right here oh, it's wet it's wet y'all it's wet I still got a gut yeah I do but I'm working on me and I'm trusting that he give me the strength to, to get through these cravings to get through these walks when I don't feel good when I'm hurting you know and to not use uh, having an illness like lupus as a, a crutch to try to genuinely get better and that's all you can do is take it one day at a time one day at a time so y'all I'm going to let y'all go because I think I done talked enough um, I'm about to see if the GNC store is open because I need my detox um, pills my OMAG because OMAG will clean you the out you see how I bleep that because I'm working on me. <laughs> I'm working on me right now. But yeah, y'all, I love y'all so much. Y'all take care out here. Y'all be safe. Um, do the right thing. If not for you, for the people that you love, do the right thing. Um, they need you, and it's people that need them. So with that, I'm going to sign out. And this is day one. I still might go home and do some jumping jacks. If I do, then I'll um, probably get, try to get my daughter or son to record me doing it. Um, but with that, I love y'all. Take care. Smooches. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, go out and spread God's love with distance. Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Tommy Bites TV. And if you have not subscribed, what y'all waiting on? Help me out. Help me. I'm, tr I'm working on my 4K goal. We ain't got nothing but time. Just click that red button for a girl. And share me out to your social media. I would appreciate it. Bye.